Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you what I use to take down a piece of wall. Um, I was trying to accommodate a full-size washer and dryer and get rid of a stackable unit. So what I had to use was a nice reciprocating saw. I basically rented it at Home Depot for $20 for the whole day. Or I think you can do like $14 for four hours. I actually went with an electrical reciprocating saw made by Makita. It was really nice, easy to use. I highly recommend that you use a six inch blade or longer because there's a guard that goes on the front and that basically takes up almost an inch and a half of uh, room there for you to get deep into like two by fours or maybe there's a piece of um, extra wood or nails that you want to cut. Um, it gives you a better angle when you have a longer blade. So um, this one blade got the whole job done for me. So if you want to rent this tool, you do have to buy your own blades. Um, I highly recommend one that can cut through like metal, plastic, and uh, wood as well. When using this reciprocating saw, it's a good idea to have some safety protection. So if you have some ear plugs or some goggles or a nice mask, um, that will be great to protect yourself from all the different dust particles floating in the air and stuff that might be flying around. Before you cut into any wall, it's a good idea to cut off the circuit breaker or to make sure that there's no electrical components behind the wall and to also confirm with the contractor that there are no load-bearing studs that you're about to cut down. So um, everything was already confirmed and as you can see here, I'm, I'm cutting the sheetrock like nothing. It's like butter. So um, the saw pretty much you just let the blade do it, do all the work. You don't need to manhandle anything, um, even the 2 by 4s um, I would start in the middle and just cut across and then you can actually just wiggle everything out so roughly it took about two hours um, after cutting it and cleaning up everything to get the job done with the excavating and removal process also it doesn't hurt to go look down between the two by fours and see if there's any electrical components or anything that might be in the way so I like to cut like I said in the middle and look down and above me to see if there's anything that's going to be an obstacle Renting a reciprocating saw is a great option if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money up front to buy your own tool that you're not going to use that often. Since I don't do this line of work very often, it was cheaper for me just to rent it for the whole day for $20, and so I went with the Home Depot 2 rental option. If you want to check out the best deals on these reciprocating saws, I do have the links in the description for these reciprocating saws well under $100. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me, just leave them in the comment section below. But please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, thank you all for watching.